and welcome to the seventh week of TDEX Virtual Summer Camp. This week's activities are targeted at sixth through eighth grade, but we encourage viewers of all ages to follow along. Today is Wildlife Wednesday, and we are learning about a specific creature in Tennessee's wildlife, bats. In fact, we are going to do a fun DIY bat box so that you can help promote a safe space for these beneficial creatures to nest. Let's learn a little bit more about bats and why they're an important part of wildlife. I'm here at Montgomery Bell State Park where we can see a bat box that they have installed here at the park office. Many state parks have bat boxes to help protect and preserve these important creatures. Tennessee actually has two federally endangered species of bat, the Indiana bat and the gray bat. Both species occur primarily in eastern and middle Tennessee with the majority hibernating in only about seven or eight caves in the state, several of which are located in Tennessee state parks. Did you know that bats are very helpful to humans? Bats eat a lot of insects. A single brown bat can eat up to 1,000 mosquitoes in a single night. With lots of bats eating lots of insects, there will be fewer insects to bug you. Farmers also like bats because they can use fewer pesticides on their crops which saves the farmers money and it's better for the environment. Bats also help pollinate plants and they spread seeds. To learn more about specific species of bats that we have here in Tennessee, visit the TWRA wildlife website that I have linked in this video caption. There are many interesting varieties, including some with very large ears, long thick fur, tails, and a variety of colors. You can also learn plenty of fun facts. For instance, did you know that while feeding in flight, bats will often use their wing tips to push an insect into their tail membrane like a baseball into a mist and then grasp the prey with their teeth? Now that we know a little bit more about bats, let's go make a bat house. We recommend having a parent, guardian, or other adult help you with today's DIY. For today's activities, you will need several scrap pieces of lumber, a drill, and exterior screws. As you can see, we have pre-cut our pieces to have the box ready to assemble. For the long piece that will be on the inside of the box, you need to cut shallow slits about a half inch apart so that the bats have something to climb and cling to. A table saw works great for this. If this is not an option, you can staple a wire mesh over your wood piece for additional traction. It is important to note you want the entry hole on the bottom of the house to be no more than an inch or so wide so that larger predators cannot get inside. The long narrow pieces will be the side walls of the house and the tops have been cut at a 10 degree angle so that the roof will deflect water. Bats don't like drafts so it's a good idea to caulk or seal any cracks you may have after assembly. We used scrap cedar wood because it is naturally weather resistant. Do not use any paints, stains, or sealers on your bat house. Thanks for joining us for today's Wildlife Wednesday activity. We hope you enjoyed it and learned a little bit more about bats in Tennessee. Tune back in tomorrow for Earth Friendly Thursday activity. We hope to see you then.